I want to thank 10 for the super sticker. By the way, if you purchased the super sticker, super chat, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, Elaine says, question, do you have to be exclusive to build a relationship? Do you have to be exclusive? Okay, so folks, everybody has a different opinion. I know a lot of dating and relationship coaches suggest dating multiple people. But I want you to think about dating multiple people. Okay, if you're dating three or four guys and the guy is dating three or four women. First off, when do you have enough time to date multiple people? Now, I want to differentiate between meeting people and dating people. Meeting people and dating people. So let's differentiate this. First off, listen, if you meet someone and you never see them again, that's just a meeting. If you meet someone on a Monday, never see them again. You meet someone new on a Wednesday and you never see them again. You meet someone new on a Thursday or Friday and never see them again. That's not dating three people. That just happened to be meeting three people in a given week. Now I want you to change the scenario. You're actively dating one, you're dating three people, you know, at the same time. How much, so, so you're, and the other person, let's just say the other, the guy isn't dating multiple people. Let's just go with that for a second. All right, he calls you up and says, hey, what are you doing Thursday night? You know, one of the guy, this guy says, and you go, well, I've got plans somewhere else. And he's like, oh, that sucks. Okay, and then, you know, that guy, okay, let's say the one guy calls you up on Friday night, what are you doing? You got something else going on because you're dating multiple people. Well, you might be missing out on a great guy who goes, look, you don't seem to have time to be in a relationship with me. So that's one of the challenges. Now, I know a lot of coaches will tell women to date multiple people so they don't get attached to the wrong guy. Let me think about this. If you have a propensity to get attached to the wrong guy, maybe you might want to heal the wounds that cause you to get attached to the wrong guy. For example, a lot of women get attached to the bad boy and the player. Let me repeat that. They get attached to the bad boy or player. There's predominantly two reasons why this happens. And if you're not familiar with the following two books, Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller, and Getting the Love You Want by Harbell Hendricks and Helen Hunt, okay? Why you want to read these books is first, love attachment is when you get biologically attached to another human being based on three attachment styles, anxious, avoidant, or secure, okay? So we can actually be attached to the wrong person because of a childhood wound that happened in our lives that caused us to get attached to the wrong people. In addition, Getting the Love You Want talks about the imago, the imago. So what the imago is all about is we oftentimes choose partners that are very similar to one or both of our parents and in, in their personalities. And usually the unhealthy aspects are one or both of our parents. So here's the thing. You, you're dating multiple people. You're not really paying attention. You get attached to the wrong person. You let go of the, a great person because you're dating multiple people and he loses interest in you. And then where are you left? One or two years down the road, heartbroken. I'm a big proponent of dating one person at a time once you've agreed to explore a relationship together. And again, most men who are genuinely serious about seeking a life mate, a partner in their life, actually make time to date only one person at a time. So I think as a common courtesy, you want to also date one person at a time. That's just my belief system. Everybody has a different opinion around this. You have to ultimately do what's right for you. I do want to caution everybody on this. Because of the internet, because of swipe dating, we are in a unique period in our lives where we have this thing called perceived choice, perceived choice. In other words, because we have this belief that there are so many choices because we can swipe, we have actually now been desensitized by human beings. And if you're not familiar with the TED Talk, the paradox of choice, I'm going to say it slowly, the paradox of choice, the paradox of choice, it's a TED Talk. I highly recommend checking it out. That 20-minute TED Talk will give you some insight, has nothing to do with dating, but has everything to do with the problem we have of dating. It's not dating at all, but the, the fact that this belief that we have all these choices. And let me just tell you this, folks. You may miss out on a great guy because you're dating multiple people and you get hooked with the wrong person and you might let go of a great person because you're, you're spreading yourself too thin. And I'm not a big proponent of that. Look, it, 
it only takes three weeks to decide if you like a person. If you see each other once or twice a week over three or four week period of time, you ultimately know whether or not you want to explore a relationship with them. And if you followed my principles in this in this conversation about being radically honest in the get-go, you might avoid the need to date multiple people to protect yourself. And again, folks, if you ever have to date from protecting your heart, then you're already setting yourself up for failure because protecting your heart puts up a wall. I'm a big proponent of having an open heart, knowing yourself, being having that self-discipline, knowing that you won't get attached to the wrong person because you've done the inner work to get there. And if you need some help doing the inner work, I highly recommend doing the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process. This is a great book to really heal the childhood wounds and traumas that cause us to choose the wrong people in our lives. This is a 50 hours of worth of work, and I think every one of you is worth it. So that's my thoughts on dating multiple people at a time. When you come from a healthy place within, you hold space for the right person to come in your life, and then you only need to date that one person and stay dating multiple people to protect your heart. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for that question. All right.